Holly, you made the cut Friday. You're the only amateur to make the cut. You had two days to think about that ceremony in Butler Cabin, one that you've probably seen on TV. Once you got in there, what was it like? Did you get chills, or what was that moment like for you? Yeah, it was incredible. You know, it was such a privilege to be a part of that ceremony. Um, just to be in Butler Cabin with Mr. Chairman and uh, Bubba and Adam was absolutely amazing. Any funny moments that didn't appear on TV? I know everything, everything you saw happened uh, during the event, so it was really great. You're in there next to, to Adam Scott and, and to Bubba Watson. Um, you know, how inspirational is that for you? Yeah, it actually, it really was. You know, it just uh, made me want to win one myself that much more. Um, to see two uh, mini green jackets in one room was just great. I had a front row seat for the green jacket ceremony out there on the putting green, and uh, you were able to kind of walk down the aisle, uh, so to speak, with with Adam Scott and take your seat up there in front of everybody. Is that a moment uh, that would be kind of hard for you to forget? Yeah, that's that. I think that's the dream. That's when it, it all kind of hits you, you know, walking down the aisle, getting everyone clapping, and I just had a grin from ear to ear, and it's something I'll never forget. And that, that's the dream for me um, at the moment anyway. I gotta, so it was just absolutely incredible. Did you know you were going to have to give a speech up there? Or? I didn't. You know, I actually asked a couple, a couple of members, you know, we'll have to speak uh, during the celebration. They said, no, no, you'll be fine. But um, <laughs> actually they told me I'd have to, be, have to make a small speech about five minutes before, so I was a little unprepared for that. Right. Uh, there's a, I guess you won the Silver Cup uh, trophy. Is that something you get to keep or... Uh, I saw them kind of hand it to you, and then you kind of had to give it back. To yeah, uh, they're going to send me another another one of those, so it will be, be really cool to sit up there on the mantelpiece. Yeah, the, just the second Australian to ever win that. I think the first since, what, 1940? Well, actually, uh, he didn't win it. Oh, did he not? Uh, okay, so there's some discrepancy there, but never, nevertheless, I mean, for you and, and, and Adam to kind of do this all in back-to-back -back years, what is it with, uh, with Australians now and having success at this tournament? Yeah, I mean, I played with Adam in 2012 at the Australian Masters, and then we meet again at the U.S. Masters. Um, it's just a completely different stage, and uh, I'm sure we'll see each other again on the course in the future. But I think Adam winning last year has just uh, opened the doors for the rest of the Australians. You know, we've played really well this year on the PGA Tour with three wins in the last four events, I think. Last couple of things. Uh, the fact that you were able to close out your round today uh, with no bogeys on the final nine, uh, one birdie, shoot one under, how important was that for you to finish strong, given that, like you said, you were tired from a long week. You've been there 10 days, and I'm sure it was hard to push yourself to do that, those final nine holes. Yeah, you know, the whole week has just been completely exhausting, and uh, I really had an, I really enjoyed the back nine, and um, I think I had those holes, uh, had a good game plan for those holes. I'm glad just to finish uh, with a good, solid back nine to finish my tournament. Were you a little sentimental on the 18th tee that maybe you didn't want it to end, though? Yeah, you know, I mean, I wasn't until after my round, you know, I was thinking, I can't believe it's over. Um, you know, it just feels like I'm going to go back tomorrow. It's just like another normal day, but um, it's back to, back to Knoxville tomorrow, <laughs> back to the books. And you had a lot of support from Tennessee fans, from uh, you know, natives from, from Australia there. I saw, I think, a jacket made out of an Australian flag <laughs> yeah, <laughs> walking around the fairways. How special I, was that? I couldn't believe the support that was out there the entire week. You know, I have my close family and friends here, but also I had... Thousands of Tennessee fans, thousands of Aussie fans. I absolutely, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was great.